This exhibit is showing us how the moon pulls on the water all over the surface of the earth and even the atmosphere and it shows you how the tides are made. The moon's going to rotate out of the range of my camera but you can still see its effect on the model here. As the earth is spinning and the moon is moving around it, it pulls the tides. There we go. And here you can see what happens in the most extreme tides, high and low, as the water comes and goes. So the earth is spinning underneath the position of the moon. So it's spinning underneath the high and low tides. The moon isn't moving that fast, the earth is moving that fast. We'll go on and look at the next exhibit. And here it is, folks. This is the Google Lunar X Prize goal, the moon. This exhibit is showing how the moon phases change. And it's wonderful. It has a moon moving over my head, and it's got one right here on the screen in front of me. And you can see the moon phases as it's starting to come around. It's just beautiful. I hope you can see the, the quality of the representation of the photograph they're using here for the exhibit. And if I scale down just below, you can see each phase of the moon. And then I pull up just a little bit, and you'll see our moon moving around. I'm hoping you can see... No, I'm afraid my camera won't pick it up, but it's actually changing as it moves. One side getting darker, one side getting lighter. But this is what we're hoping to achieve with our Google Lunar X Prize, a landing on the surface of the moon. And I seriously hope it, it inspires other Americans and the rest of the country to, to support NASA and support a return to exploration of the moon and of the solar system of a manned exploration, not just robots, but establishing a permanent human outpost on the surface of the moon from which we can venture out and explore our solar system and hopefully the galaxy beyond. It's, uh, it's just something we have to do. You have to ask yourself, what would the world be like if Columbus had discovered America and never went back? This is the position we're in now. It's been 40 years since we went to the moon. And it's high time we went back and we definitely should go back and stay. All right, let's look at the next exhibit.